Sibani Sibani is a type of sea snail known as Jorana parva. Most of them are over 1 inch, 2.4 cm long and are found in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. This species was first named by Japanese scientist named Kikutara Baba in 1934. Sea bunnies are actually a species of sea slug or nudibranch. branch. The sea bunny itself varies between several different colors including white, yellow, brown and much less commonly green. There is some scientific debate about whether these variations represent entirely different species or simple color morphs of the same species. The bunny-like white and black morph seems to mostly reside around the coastal waters of Japan. Sea bunny has rhinophores on its head which look like bunny ears. These rhinophores are sensory organs that help the sea bunny sense its surroundings. It also helps them to identify their mates and find food by its ability to sense different types of chemicals. The fur is actually a group of small rods called caryophyllidia. These rods are tiny needle-like structures called spicules. They are thought to be sensory organs like the rhinophores. Like all nudibranchs, sea bunnies are hermaphrodites, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive organs. They mate by both exchanging sperm with one another to fertilize their eggs. Therefore, they are both mother to their own children and the father of someone else's, while both their offspring are direct siblings. All mating opportunities must be condensed into the sea bunny's short lifespan, which probably lasts for no more than a few months to a year. This means the sea bunny must mature quickly and reproduce as frequently as possible. Their well-developed sensory organs help them locate other sea bunnies in the wild. Unfortunately, their social behavior isn't well understood. After losing its protective shell early in its life cycle, the sea bunny has only one single defensive mechanism to prevent it from being eaten. Fortunately, it's a very good one. A highly potent toxin called Mycololite B. What's particularly interesting is that the sea bunny does not produce the toxins by itself. Instead, it acquires the toxin by consuming sponges in the natural course of its feeding. The sea bunny is apparently immune to the toxin, but the predator not so much. Once it has the unpleasant experience of ever eating a sea bunny, then the predator will think twice before trying again. Fortunately, this toxin may have interesting pharmacological applications. Scientists have known that it has the unusual ability to limit the spread of cancer cells in humans. Thus far, this has had limited clinical uses. Scientists are still trying to figure out how these toxins might be used to develop effective drugs that prevent cancers from metastasizing throughout the body.